understood this point this is your rear end this is your top end now we are not discussing about rear, rear end we are only discussing about top end we are doing we are doing incidenting the photons on this rear end and due to this photon due to this forward bias the influence on this carriers which are present in this p plus and they got injected to this junction and there will be a difference between carrier concentration between this intrinsic side and your p side and that is why you got a flood of electron and flood of holes and what one point the those flood of electron and holes got in a position of equilibrium point and after that your current starts flowing you need to remember this much only if you couldn't understand please rewind this video and try to understand it okay even i tried my best to write it down in a proper way look here carefully when the diode is forward biased the injected carrier concentration is typically several orders of magnitude higher than that of intrinsic carrier concentration the carrier concentration is severely several uh, um, uh, higher order than that of intrinsic carrier concentration okay that is what we have discussed now and due to this high level injection this is called as high level injection due to the influence of this photon and this voltage and <coughs> this injection is nothing but your high level injection always remember this uh, term na high level injection now now due to this high level injection which in turn is due to depletion process the electric field extends deeply almost entire length into the region so electric field helps this electric field helps in speeding up the transport of charge carrier from p to n region and which results in the faster operation of diode basically we we why we are needing a pin diode then that of requiring then that of using normal diode because the operation is very fast because your pin diode became very sensitive very sensitive towards change in any kind of property in between that basically hum log ka ye jo pin diode hai wo bahut hi fast operation deta hai kyunki is it's very sensitive okay so making it suitable device for high frequency operation sir kaise wo high frequency ke liye use hota hai look here carefully your depletion width is here sir increasing so that means your capacitance is sir decreasing obviously as your area and epsilon is constant here now if your capacitance is decreasing so here your capacitance is decreasing in this expression we know the expression of frequency that means we can use it on high frequency analysis high frequency analysis because it's actually if you see in practically a lot of questions asked in interview questions ki uh, why we use a uh, uh, pin diode as a uh high frequency you know high frequency analysis or in you know, a switching uh, uh, operations because it can be used in high frequency analysis because of it is very 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 sensitive towards a change of any kind of parameter okay it's very sensitive material okay and it is it is it is very very fast the operation of pin pin diode is very fast okay it is useful for high frequency applications such as such as attenuator fast switches photo detector high voltage power electronics application always remember these these small small points okay do remember these points points small small points now with this we are done with third point these are the very simple simple point now what we have discussed we have discussed about a simple working phenomena because the, what is the working phenomena because of the the small difference between the carrier concentration between these two sides the injection that injection is nothing but your high level injection my dear friend ye jo ye jo high level injection hai wala point hai na ye assassin region ke question ke liye bahut important hai okay i'm i'm giving you 100% guarantee ek bar to ye zarur aayega theek hai always remember this point high level injection and and we have in the beginning of this lecture we have discussed about the difference between normal diode and intrinsic and, and your pin diode uh, the improved version of normal diode is nothing but your uh, pin diode till now we have discussed this much only and we are done with three points now we are going to finish nine points now listen to this carefully okay listen to this carefully at low frequency at low frequency pin diode obeys at low frequency pin diode obre obeys what tell me think about it and tell me pin diode obeys standard diode 
equation because it behaves like a diode normal diode it behaves like a normal diode at low frequency but at high frequency pin diode obeys pin diode behaves like 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 a register behaves like a register i'm really sorry for my handwriting but please understand the concept okay aapko subject samajh mein aana chahiye subject se pyar hona chahiye mere handwriting se nahi mera bahut ganda handwriting hai theek hai at low frequency as my pin diode obeys standard diode equation so i can say at low frequency pin diode can be switch off we can do the operation of switching so humko switch off karna ho sakta hai it's it's possible for switch off because because your it is obeying the standard diode equation but when my pin diode behaves like a register at high frequency pin diode will never 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 turns off you always 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 remember these two points this these two points are very much important my dear friend very much important theek hai aapko ye do point yaad rakhne yahan se aapko yaad rakhne wali cheez exam mein aane wali cheez ye sare cheez start ho jate hain theek hai now sixth point is highly useful as rf switches attenuators photo detectors and phase shifters okay highly used with a pin diode is useful highly useful your pin diode is useful or highly useful your or highly useful as these 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 things now let's get into the fifth uh, seventh point as the photons incidents on one end of the device as the photons incidented on one end of device the instant photon variation is given by phi x the derivation is not important please just i had this content with me so i i i thought ki i should share this content with you the derivation is not that much important i want you to please remember this point so if the pho photons concentration the photon the variation of photon is given by phi phi x that means your phi x is nothing but equals to phi not into e to the power minus phi minus alpha into x where where your alpha is your photon absorption coefficient please remember this formula ha huh? you remember always remember this formula this may useful for your engineering service exam and your photo current density is nothing but in terms of this phi x okay in terms of this phi x this this photon variation in terms of this photon variation your photo current density j equals to e phi not whole into 1 minus e to the power minus alpha into w w and here w is your width obviously depletion width okay okay cool now let's quickly move into the next point your quantum efficiency is given by eta which is nothing but your quantum efficiency quantum efficiency your quantum efficiency is given by number of electron hole pair generated divided by number of photons incident number kitne photons incident hue kitne photons incident hue usme se bas kitna sa electron hole pair got generated that is your nothing but your quantum efficiency which is nothing but this numerator value is nothing but ip by q and the number of photons which got incident is nothing but p not by h nu sir ip or p not kya hai p not is nothing but इंसिडेंट ऑप्टिकल पावर जो ऑप्टिकल पावर हम लोगों ने अप्लाई करके द अमाउंट ऑफ फोटन वी गॉट जनरेटेड उसके रिगार्डिंग वो पी नॉट का वैल्यू है एंड आई पी इज नथिंग बट योर फोटो करेंट एंड 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 नाउ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ पिन डायोड इज नथिंग बट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ पिन डायोड इज आर विच इज नथिंग बट आई पी बाई पी नॉट दिस फोटो करेंट डिवाइडेड बाई इंसिडेंट ऑप्टिकल पावर एंड देर इज अ फॉर्मूला एन क्यू बाई एस सी होल एन टू लामडा रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला दिस इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर ये पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू कन्वेंशनल के दो मार्क के लिए आ सकते हैं या फिर आपके गेट के दो मार्क के लिए आ सकते हैं ऑल इज रिमेंबर दिस ग्राफ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके दिस इज योर लामड़ा एंड दिस इज योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ठीक है ऑल इज रिमेंबर दिस दिस पॉर पॉइंट्स ओके नाउ बिफोर वी फिनिश आवर एंटायर पिन डायड वाला कॉन्सेप्ट एंटायर फोटो डायड वाला कॉन्सेप्ट आई लाइक टू गो थ्रू कपल ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट नोट पॉइंट्स there is there is a existence of avalanche photodiode also we have learned about avalanche diode but there is also exists there is uh, there also exists avalanche photodiode which is also a photo detector 
now avalanche photodiode do produces output current than normal photodiode do those do, do produces more output current than that of normal photodiode aapko normal photodiode mein jitna current produce hota tha usse kai jyada photo current ye avalanche photodiode generate karta hai aur also <coughs> hamare also there is couple of usefulness 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 of usefulness of photodiode also there is couple of usefulness of photodiode is there here for light detection as as used as a switch like on off current in nanosecond nanosecond mein hum log ka on off karne ke liye useful hai who photodiode used in also applications like optical communication system optical communication system instrumentation and control and automation control and automation photodiode is useful in these areas and there is a avalanche photodiode a concept is there this is this much amount of things are there in your syllabus the things which is there for your syllabus i have completed strictly to that i, I even quite more than that okay please try to go through all these note points okay Okay with this we are done with today's lecture thank you so much for your patience and if you have any question query feedback or suggestion for this video or this channel feel free to write it down in the comment box and if you want more and more videos like this give us a thumbs up press on like button and do subscribe to our channel gel kit ac lectures see you in the next lecture of led light emitting diode till then bye